Today we're going to be looking at linuit.com. It's a uh, sticky note website. First thing you're going to need to do is to create an account. So I'll step you through this. I'm going to do my username and then my password and then my email address. I make sure I click the accept our terms of use and then I create an account. When I've done it's when it's done creating my account, which is really, really quick, I'm presented with this page. I can get a main, a someday, and these are two demo pages, or I can create a new one. I want to create a new one right now. I'm going to call it student feedback. Um, I could change the background if I want to or upload an image. Right now I'm just going to leave the default cork. And since I want to use this in class, I want to do everyone may post stickies. I don't want to be notified because that can, if there's a lot of discussion, that can get really annoying. I want to show it in the doc so I can get to it easily. Uh, this uh, will let you do email so you can email to Linuit and it'll post a sticky note. Allow others to copy stickies onto this canvas. You want to leave that checked for at least now because uh, you can copy things from other canvases to this canvas so that you can set up one for the class and then copy the canvas over. List on public? No, I'm going to use this for class and allow guests to post stickies? Yes, because I want students to be able to do that. I'm going to create the canvas and it'll pop it up for me. Now when I use this in class, you'll notice that the URL right up here is how students will be able to access it. That's exactly how you would, would do it in a lot of different situations and this is really slick and easy in that you just copy the URL, put it in your course website and your students can automatically go to it. Or you uh, use something like tinyurl or bit.ly and give your students a shortened link that they can just copy down from the board. Now in the bottom right left hand corner is your dashboard. And here you can scroll out or in as far as you want and these are your various canvases that you have at your disposal. So you can go between these canvases and copy things back and forth. Directly across from that is your Canvas navigation tool. So this allows you to move around and you notice the background shifts as I move because it's moving. Uh, now for what you've been waiting for, adding a note. I can just click it. It'll bring up this pretty snazzy dialog. I can type something and add a tag. Uh, change the font to make it bigger, smaller, make it pink. If I wanted to add an icon, I could do that. Or if I wanted to make a private, I could do that. And I'm going to post. So there's my pretty pink cool huh. So I can move that around anywhere I want and put it there. I can also add images, video, or other kinds of documents. So if I wanted to upload a text document, have my students read it, and then come back here and carry on some kind of brainstorming ideas about it, that would be the way I would do it. When you're done with a canvas, you might want to save it forever, which is fine, or you might want to delete it. If you wanted to delete a canvas, all you would do is click on the canvas name up here in the upper right hand corner, and it'll take us back to that settings page. Now there's an added feature, or an added button at the bottom that says delete this canvas. So all you have to do is click it, it asks you are you sure, you say yes I'm sure, and you better be sure because it'll be gone. There you go.